It's the NFL on EA Sports, and we'll see who rules the skies in today's battle. It's the Cards and the Hawks, and it comes your way next on Madden Football. With Mount Rainier in the distance, there are few cities finer on a clear afternoon than this one, and we have a picture-perfect day for football at Lumen Field in Seattle. Straight ahead, we've got a pretty good one on tap here, as it'll be the Arizona Cardinals taking on the Seattle Seahawks. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, this was a team after the Russell Wilson trade that looked like they might be bottoming out. But for years, the Seahawks have had great success in the NFL draft, as you well know, and they've used the last few drafts to really restock this roster. And they certainly have restocked this roster and have gotten back to playing football the way that they want to do it. Seahawks football, which means running the ball with authority on offense. They've added runners, offensive linemen, and now they're just being forceful in the way they're going about their business, the way that they did it when they ran the Super Bowls. And for the visiting Cardinals, you know, this is a team in flux a little bit. J.J. Watt retired. There's a new coaching staff in place. They've got some work to do to turn around what was a 4-13 campaign in 2022. I remember this franchise won 11 games in 2021, but everything's new now. Head coach, the way they're going to run things on offense, style of play on defense, but sometimes that change can be really good. this across the 20 but not much further as he's dropped at the 23 yard line so out come the Cardinals now for their opening drive they'll be led out by a seventh year pro and a literal rocket scientist here's Joshua Dobbs this is what this man was born for the big spotlight on the national stage like this really his entire career has demonstrated incredible poise no matter what type of situation his team was in no situation is too big for him, and you can tell in the way that he takes the field. His self-belief is evident, and he gets the job done, in his mind, each and every time. He had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely, just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. But once again, they'll go from the 23-yard line on second and 10. To throw is Dobbs. Pressure comes, he's taken down by the Seahawk defense. Eugenia and Wosu got the sack there. All right, partner, I'm going to be Captain Obvious right here. Not the start you're looking for offensively, right? Incomplete pass, followed by a sack. And when he went down, it looked like that right ankle got turned, but thankfully he popped up okay, and they breathe a sigh of relief on that sideline. I don't think this is the script they had in mind for their opening drive. This is third and long. Dobbs. They go screen. This is Ingram. Five yards, and that means they come up short as they're going to have to punt here on the opening drive. I wonder what was going through his mind when he got the play call. He just got sacked on the previous play. He knows they're coming after him again. A little bit of guts to stand in there, take the hit, and successfully complete the screen pass. Really well done. Now on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. And a fair catch called for and made just inside the 35-yard line. So the Seahawks ready to take over on offense, and it is a first-time pro bowler who leads him out, Charles, in his 11th year now, Geno Smith. When the Seahawks named Smith the starter last season, it gave him an opportunity he wasn't sure he would get again. And then he became one of the best quarterbacks in football and sustained it across a full 17 games when he come back player of the year. Saved his career with last season and keeps the Seahawks as true contenders. On the tackle, it was the West Virginia man, Kaiser White. Line of scrimmage, the 36 on second and eight. A shotgun snap for Smith. And the catch is made here by Tyler Lockett. That'll go for a gain of seven. And that will bring up third and one. I think defensively, you're okay with that. You're in the first quarter. He's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on. And I like what you just said. First quarter. 
can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle, and they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that, you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch. Now you put the offense in a position where every series, they have to work hard to pick up first downs, and you tend to stall them out when you do that. Well, they kept it simple there, CD, only needing the short gain to move the chain. So they didn't want to go with a deep throw. They just go with that safer, shorter throw and able to convert. Nothing wrong with that at all, partner. Check the box, right? Make sure you pick up the first down. Offense is getting established. You're moving the ball. You're not turning it over. Check, check, check. They like what they're doing early in the game. A really nice effort that time. 12 yards on the keeper, picking up the first. the middle they run it's Walker and he's going to get it down to the 33 yard line here so not quite a first down just yet as they come up on second and less than a yard sticking with Walker on second down and he'll go down at the 28 a gain of five, good enough for the first down. A couple of nice carries back-to-back -back here, establishing the ground game a bit. Yeah, these are bare-bones runs now. I mean, they're getting substantial yardage, the kind of yards you're looking for, right? Let's go ahead and use a cliche. Stay ahead of the change, right? Five, more, five or more yards each time, that's what you're looking for in setting a tone and getting your offensive line going. Good sign on the opening drive. Shifts by him, and he'll be brought down inside the 20 at the 19. That one good for 10 yards. And that'll make it second and a foot or so. Now Smith. And his throw here is incomplete. Will Disley, the intended receiver, at its third down. Here's Smith. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have a Seahawks first down, and comfortably so, as he gets five there on third and a yard. For many people, that's not your standard play call in that third down situation. But for so many offenses, they just want the ball in the hands of their playmakers in open space. And after he caught it, he did a nice job picking up the first down. Now Gino on first down. Out right to Smith and Jigba. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. 11 yards for number 11. But no question, this is exactly how they wanted to start this football game. And nice pass there. Now they're set up beautifully, Charles, to finish this off with a touchdown. Yeah, but they've still got to finish it off, partner. And that means they've got to execute at this stage of the field. So we've seen many teams march it right to the goal line and not cash in. They've got something dialed up here that puts it in the end zone. And the D not yielding much there. He's only going to get a yard to about the two. Good first step there defensively, but they're still knocking on the doorstep, so maybe another run here? I think so. One of my favorite coaches used to say, son, if you could darn near lay down near the end zone and get in, <laughs> give me my best power running play with my best back right now. And he finds Lincoln in the end zone. Touchdown, Seattle. Two yards on the touchdown there. And the Seahawks get the upper hand as they're on the board first here this afternoon. Well, you've got to like that start on both sides of the football. You force the three and out, and then you score on your first drive. Well, I know someone who doesn't like that start. Well, yeah, the other side. Yeah, they don't like that at all, <laughs> right? This is not the way it's supposed to be. But what you just described, that's team football, all right? When you get a three and out, you're supposed to take advantage of it on the offensive side of the ball. You said, thank you very much for getting us to rock. Let's put it in the end zone, and they did exactly that. the 
touchdown. Here's Myers to boot it away. And no run back here for more. It's a touchback, and it'll come out to the 25. So the Cardinals offense back onto the field here for their second drive of the game. And the last drive, their first drive, three and out. What changes here, if anything? I think it's making sure the guys that you trust the most with the ball, the biggest playmakers you have, that they touch it on this possession and try and get things moving. So get it to the horses. Without a doubt, they're the ones that typically end up in the end zone. Give him a gain of five on the completion, and that will bring up second down. Up the middle, Ingram, and he's brought down at the 34. Call it a gain of four. Here now, third and a yard. Back to throw Dobbs. That is caught. And he's going to have a Cardinals first down as they're able to convert on third and short yardage with a gain of four. And already down seven to nothing after the touchdown a minute ago. So a three and out here would not be ideal for them. Nice job finding his receiver there. And they get the first down. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Dobbs is throwing. Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. He was trying to get it to Zach Ertz that time. And that'll bring up second down. Running right. This is Ingram. Takes this up right near the 45-yard line. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. Throwing here, Dobbs. He's got his target. That's complete. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. First catch for him on the afternoon, and it results in a first down. Well, you can absolutely feel the thought process there. They just gave up the touchdown. So in the huddle, they're telling each other, you don't want to give it back now on a three and out. Nice job of making sure that they wouldn't, and they pick up the first down. Dobbs throw here going to be caught by Wilson. Michael Wilson, 49 yards. And the Cardinals are an extra point away from drawing level. As a former defender, I would be angry as well. Could not get off the field. Well executed offensive drive, no matter what the defense tried, they couldn't stop them. Now Matt Prater for the point after. It's up and good. So these teams match touchdowns here in the first quarter, and we're tied 7-7. So all even at seven now as they kick it away. DJ Dallas to return it from his end zone. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Costs him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. Seattle's offense coming back onto the field ready for their second drive. And that last drive was very, very balanced, pretty methodical. Do you think they go that route again? I'm always of the school that until they stop me from doing something, I'm willing to continue. And I think that that's exactly what they'll look to do. But the beauty is the balance that they've created sets up opportunities for big plays. Looks like a run, turn it into a play action, and throw one deep. 
I like how they work the tight end on a nice little under route there. And if you're going to give him that much space, he's not going to catch the football. He's going to run away from you a little bit. And that's exactly what he just did there, picking up extra yardage. Now it's Smith off the bootleg. And he's got Smith and Jigba. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. A good pick up there, 26 yards. So into Cardinal territory now. It's first and 10 at the 42-yard line. Running right, here's Walker. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. Here's second and five now from the 37. Back to throw, Smith. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on, third down. He was trying to get that one out to his running back out in the backfield, but that one was red and timed perfectly, and they were able to break it up. They come up now, third and five, following the incomplete pass. Smith. Pressure comes, and the Cardinals bring him down. They bring the safety on the blitz, and he busts through to drop him for an eight-yard loss. Oh, free safety blitz. That can be a gamble, but it proves fruitful there. Yeah, you're exactly right about the gamble because oftentimes the free safety is the last line of defense against a long pass. And when he comes at the quarterback, he better get home and make the play. Otherwise, a big play could result for the offense. The Seahawks will call on Michael Dixon on fourth down to punt this one away. And this one will not be returnable as it sails out of bounds. Arizona getting ready to go as they take the field. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. And confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you've scored once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. Doesn't matter what the defense throws at them. They feel like they're in a groove right now, and they want to get out there and show it. Yeah, hoping to stay in that groove here this go-around. Clock runs, less than a minute to go in an entertaining first quarter of play. On second down, Ingram. And he'll be upended at the 33 following a gain of three. And guess what? It brings up third down. Here is third and five. Here's Dobbs to throw. And we'll find the open man. That's complete. And he is going to have a Cardinals first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. His first catch of the game, good for 11 and a first down. Seven, seven, our score after one. Cardinal football here to start quarter number two as they've got it with a first and 10. From the gun, it's a run for Ingram and he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. From the 46, here's second down and eight. Here's Dobbs to throw. He's got the connection to Moore. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down.
Now Dobbs. That's out to the flat for Ingram. Just a gain of a couple there. And that'll bring up second down. From the shotgun, here's Dobbs. And complete to Zach Ertz. And that'll wind up moving the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the Seahawks' 17-yard line. That'll wind up a gain of 27 on the catch and run. One of the advantages of zone defense, as I remember it, is being able to see the play develop in front of you. One of the disadvantages, when they find those levels where they can hit you with it. Sometimes behind the corner and in front of the safety, it makes it tough to defend. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Out of the gun, they give to Ingram. Oh, nice move. And the Cardinals are going to have it first and goal as he'll take this down to about the three. The running game fully in sync, 1-11 to 11 on that play. And sometimes it comes from the offensive coordinator understanding what he thinks the defense is going to do and dialing up the perfect play. Sometimes the quarterback, though, can look at the defense, realize he needs to change it to a run, and that gets it done in a big way as well. Touchdown, Cardinals! Rondale Moore from three yards out, and the Cardinals have taken the lead. Certainly there are good things about quick strike offenses that score fast, but a long drive can also work to your advantage as well. In so many ways, Brandon, because number one, you get them tired, but the big one is mentally. They can't figure out how to slow you down, how to get off the field, how to get the ball back. They go to the bench wondering, what are we going to do next time in order to stop those guys? Extra point good by Prater, and that makes the score 14-7. to seven. That time, a nine-play drive, and it winds up at a touchdown for Arizona. After the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. Dallas now to return it from his end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. And Seattle now ready to march out of the field. That 7-0 lead of theirs short-lived as they've now given up two straight touchdowns to fall behind by seven. Yeah, but no cause for discouragement here. Yeah, they've fallen behind, but haven't they proven that they can go down and score? So what was the formula to get them down there the first time? Get back to something close to that, and maybe they get this game tied up. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Smith now to throw. They're unable to connect, but a late flag comes in. And the contact may have come too early. So they saw the contact before the ball arrived. Penalty flag for pass interference. And trying to avoid pass interference is so difficult. You're trying to slow down these skilled receivers, and somehow, some way, they make plays on the football, and sometimes you're there too soon. Two yards the loss, second and 12. The job of any linebacker involves having enough strength to fight off a blocker and get to ball carriers, but in this case, I think we can safely say he beat them right off the snap to get into the backfield and make that play. Here's Smith now on second down. And his throw is going to be incomplete. And I think he was a little surprised to see the ball sitting out there like that. That's a ball he had a chance to come away with, but it winds up an incomplete pass. And the Seahawks on third down. They've been okay, two for three thus far. This is third down and 12. Now it's Smith. Going for Metcalf on the deep ball. 
And it's knocked away and incomplete. They decided the opportunity was there and launched a deep ball, but he was unable to get away from the defender, couldn't create space, couldn't uncover the end of the route, and that one winds up incomplete. On fourth down, ready to punt, Michael Dixon. Fair catch called for in May, but now we'll have to see about the penalty. Personal foul, roughing in a kicker. Defense. What happened? And that hurts. If it was running into the kicker, wouldn't be a first down. Roughing, it is a first. And just think Automatic about the differences down. between the two. Running into the kicker almost feels inadvertent, just a small tap, so to speak. But when you rough him, usually bodies are hitting the ground and flying all different places. And the difference is five yards or 15. And in this case, that's a big play. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. Short completion, just four yards, and it's second down. Now a draw play, it's Walker. He'll be taken down at the 48 for a pickup of two yards. Here's the seventh play of this drive. This is third and four. To throw is Smith. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. Third catch of this first half for him, and this one is a first down. Walker now on first and 10. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Can we just take that run and turn it into a kind of a clip and save? Because that tells you everything you need to know about this drive. They've been moving the ball awfully well. From the 34-yard line, here's second down and five. Sticking with Walker on second down. And he'll go down at the 28. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Great pickup by Walker. It was the second back off the board in the 2022 draft. But he was first among rookies in carries, yards, and touchdowns, and was the rookie of the year runner-up. On first down, Smith. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Nice progress down the field was halted by that incompletion. They could try for some safe yards here to get things moving again, or keep throwing it and pushing it downfield to try and pick up bigger yardage. Smith, an incomplete pass on first down. Now it's second and 10. A quick throw out to Lockett. That helps the completion percentage, but not much else. And now it's third and 10. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. Throwing on third down, Smith. Returning right back to Lockett. receptions for him and it's another first down a very important third down conversion right there because when you're trailing and find yourself this deep in enemy territory the kicker's not even part of your thought process you got to make him pay off with six nice connection right there to set up first and goal to the air again smith and oh it'll be intercepted 
picked off by Marco Wilson. And the Cardinals are going to get the football here as the ball will come out to the 20. CD, when he went to throw that, I'm not sure if he just didn't see where the defense was. Well, whatever the case, not the throw you're looking for on first and goal. Not at all, because look, let's face it, that close to the goal line, if you throw an interception, it's going to hurt on any down. But really, the only down you can kind of live with is if you do it on fourth down. The first three, if you don't have it wide open, just get rid of it. Make sure they can't get it and live to fight another down. First and goal, and you throw the pick, not good at all. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. That one is blown up by Jordan Brooks, the linebacker. Sometimes being a linebacker in the middle of the field is kind of like being a doctor on the field. You got to make the right diagnosis. Here he correctly sets his run and shoots through to make the play in the backfield. Ingram again. And he's taken down. It's a gain of three from the 17 to the 20. here for the Seahawks on third down. Off the play fake, here's Dobbs. Rolling to his right, and he can't find anywhere to go with it, and he goes down. Daryl Taylor got in there to drop him. We've watched this a long time, and I still don't believe we get it. Third and long, why are you calling play action? Yeah, because they're not going to bite defensively, right? No, not at all. I did have a coach explain to me years ago that for some teams, that's how they have to deal with pass protection and their line blocking, but to me it seems silly. Yeah, well, they're silly, and it leads to a play action sack. Fair catch taken just inside the 40-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt, and it'll be Seahawk football first and 10. And Seattle now ready to march out of the field. In a close game like this, Charles, those interceptions like they had on the last drive could be costly, but here they've got another opportunity to seize control of this game. And they'd better take advantage of it because otherwise, if they end up losing by one score, they'll relive this over and over and over until they have another opportunity to wipe it away. Now second and five. To the right side, this is Walker. After a gain of five, they'll wind up being about a length of the football short here on third down. Now a play fake, and it's Smith. He hits his target, lock it. And some room to maneuver. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. They chalk that one up as a gain of 34 on third down. Well, he worked his way quite a bit in this first half, and with good reason. You can see it there. He is such a handful defensively, just too hard to keep him under wraps, and delivers a big play here for this offense. We've hit the two-minute mark in the second quarter, 14 to seven. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Gino down to throw. He completes this to Walker. And he'll get it down this time to the 17. They'll wind up getting just a yard, and that'll make it second down. I've worked with you long enough now to know you like that decision. Go safe, pressure coming, hit your guy underneath. It's an excellent decision, but he knew it came with consequences, and that's him getting hit on the play, but able to dump it to his running back and gain some yardage. I liked everything about it, especially his ability to stay in the pocket and execute. And he'll get seven yards from the 17 to the 10 before he's taken down. Two yards still to go, third down now. Throwing again is Smith. And a throw there gonna be incomplete. Now they're 
Kyler staring at a fourth down as Arizona's defense does its job. <laughs> Whether that's a little grabbing, a little hand fighting, by any means necessary on third down, he was able to get the job done in the secondary and swat that one away. The offense staying out. They're going to go on fourth and two. Here we go on fourth. Smith. And he is caught. Now the Seahawks going to use the first of their timeouts as it will come with 36 ticks to go in half number one. A chance now to get even before the break as they come up first and goal. From the gun, here's Smith. His pass caught at the four. Now the Seahawks call the second of their three timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. Two of their three red zone trips so far, they've come up empty on. They'll look to reverse that trend on second and goal. Here's Smith. Looking end zone, but it's incomplete. As a defensive back, you have some weapons at your disposal that we don't often talk about. And you can read the receiver's eyes, you can read his hands, and you know that the arrival of the ball is imminent, and that allows you to make a play on it, and oftentimes, knock it away. Big play coming here, it's third and goal. A shotgun snap for Smith. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. I know every offense wants to start their snaps closer to the goal line, but it's actually harder to throw the ball in those situations. You throw into that tight coverage, you see what happens. Hard to get the ball in there. Not enough space there. Lucky maybe that it wasn't intercepted. Three points here, they're still down, but they put somewhat of a dent into that lead going into the break. Anything helps when you're trying to chip away at a lead, but they do know that they're going to need a little bit better effort in the second half. now converted on the field goal try now he's on to kick it away taken at the goal line now a crease here as he's past the 30 there he goes right side he might take this all the way he will take this all the way touchdown Arizona I know a lot of special teams coaches, they just want to keep it away from him because that's what he can do. And others have egos that their players can't keep up with. And they say, challenge him, kick it to him. The way he runs as fast as he is, I wouldn't challenge him at all. I'd do everything possible to keep it away. He is just a blur when he gets a full head of steam and he got a full head of steam there. Prater for the extra point, and that makes it a 21-10 game. Well, we talk a lot about explosive plays on offense. How about an explosive play on special teams? Certainly one there on the kick return for a touchdown. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. Here's the Seattle offense ready to get this drive underway. And with eight seconds on the clock, really not a lot of time to try to put anything together. And defensively, they're just looking to keep him contained as they're able to get him down. 
So we have reached halftime here in an 11-point contest. As we'll send you back over to Orlando with our EA Sports Halftime Report, here's Jonathan Coachman. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much, and welcome in everyone to our downtown Orlando studios and this EA Sports Halftime Report. This has certainly been a fun one to watch so far. We knew this was going to be a battle, and we have not been disappointed. This is the kind of game that could wind up hinging on which side can play mistake-free football the rest of the way. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. The Seahawks trailing, but they will have possession first here as we resume action in the third quarter. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. And hold on here, because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. The medical staff will attend to him, and we will step aside. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. By no means certainly are they out of this contest. Two-score game start of the third quarter, but you feel like if they don't get points and then they give up points, then it can become a slippery slope. This feels like an important possession. Yeah, that slope becomes even more slick if you come away empty-handed on this drive because then you give them a chance to extend their lead. You need some kind of points here, even if it's just a field goal. It's what I call one of those calming drives, try and slow things down a little bit. Back to the air, Smith on second down. And yeah, this throw incomplete. And the defender all over him that time, and it's going to lead to third down. No coverage bust by the defense here. They did a nice job accounting for everybody, and that led to an incompletion. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Now Gino. Pass to the sideline and pulled in. And he'll be out right at the 35. No question that they're going to continue to look his way. Six catches in the first half and now seven on the game. He's been a busy man here in this one, and they're showing off some nice footwork to stay in bounds. And with those types of catches and the volume that we've seen in this game, wouldn't you keep him busy as well? I would. Of course. you got to <laughs> keep throwing it to him. He keeps making plays. Straight ahead, Walker. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. Ball at the 40 here for second and five. Throwing now is Gino. That's complete to Disley, the tight end. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Cardinals' 41-yard line. Give them 18 on the play. And that's one of the better plays we've seen this offense put together so far. They haven't been able to get on track much at all. But listen, they're only down a couple of scores with the rest of this quarter and the entire fourth remaining. So, stranger things have happened. Up the middle, here's Walker. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Moving backwards on first down, never a good thing. What does that do for the mindset on second down? Well, it changes your play call, definitely, because as a play call, you're advancing yourself, thinking, okay, we're going to get a gain here. Now you've got to go back in reverse, come up with something to pick up not just the yardage lost, but gain a few extra. On second down, here's Smith. Looking middle, and it's incomplete. And we just saw another example. These cornerbacks have played tight coverage all game long. Might start wanting to think about a few double, triple move routes to try and shake their guys free. They have, you're right, they have had no room to breathe. A long way to go here on third down for the eighth play of the drive. Throwing is Smith. 
He's got his target. That's complete. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Cardinals 14. That's good for 28 yards. Press coverage on the outside, and for defenders, that's the ultimate risk-reward. If you take the risk, can you reward yourself by keeping them on the line of scrimmage? But no, not on that one. You got the step on them. Now it's just a matter of laying the ball out there for him to go get it. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. Now to the ground, here's Walker. And he'll get about three just outside the 10, stopped at the 11. Second and seven. Sticking with Walker on second down. And he'll get this one down to about the 10-yard line. Call it a gain of a yard, and it's going to bring up third and five. Now Smith. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. So two third down conversions on this drive, but not able to get a third, and now they deal with fourth down. So many times we talk about coverage, we're just about a defender running with a receiver, but a big part of it is understanding where the football is, finding it. In this case, when it arrived, it wasn't a surprise, and he was able to bat it away. Myers' kick is good, and that'll make this an eight-point game. So they were facing the deficit coming out of the locker room at intermission, and at least they're able to get the field goal to cut into that deficit. Yeah, now your offense feels pretty good about itself, right? A little bit more up to speed coming out of the break. You turn to your defense now and say, hey, we got three there. We're chipping into the lead. Can you help us out? Hold them. Let's get the ball back for us. now converted on the field goal try now he's on to kick it away and more he's going to sit on this one and the drive will begin at the 25 yard line the cardinals offense now ready to get their first opportunity here in the second half they're rocking and rolling but the scoreboard doesn't show a big difference you know maybe it's one of those games where coaches say you can't and the seahawk defense gets to him and they bring him down Draymond Jones credit him with a sack and it goes as a loss of six this defense coming out after the half and if that plays any indicator Charles may be a little refreshed and refocused here for quarters three and four yeah they did really well on that one that's exactly what they need to keep doing if they want to change their fortunes in this game Dobbs throw here complete into the hands of Ertz and he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds Seahawks add a couple of extra DBs going with the dime look here. Indeed, six on the field. On play action, it's Dobbs. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they reach the 50. A pickup of 24 on the third down conversion. Whenever we talk about moving the sticks and controlling the football, there's a great example right there. Those are the third downs you need to convert to win football games. We're in the third quarter of this one, and this is a tight one. In order to maintain pace, keep the ball away from the other team and put points on the board, those are the plays they need to continue to convert. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. Ertz has it left side. And he's got this down to the 35. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. First 
Back to throw Dobbs. Going quickly there, but it's incomplete. Offense is moving them a little bit, have them back on their heels, but they earn a brief pause by forcing the incompletion. That gives them a quick chance to regroup and try and mount a stand before they're backed up even further. Second and ten. Now Dobbs. Pressure comes and down he goes. Jaron Reed muscles his way in for the sack. A CD, a little bit of feast or famine for him. He's had some success throwing the football, but also now he's been sacked four times. Yeah, you just mentioned the four sacks, but you're right. He has managed to hang in there and make plays at times. His offensive line, they've got to figure it out and pick things up and give him more opportunities. And he has to help them by getting rid of the ball a little bit quicker as well. Seventh play of this drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. Here's Dobbs to throw. Oh, the pressure too great, and he goes down once more. That sack, it goes to Boye Mafe. This is a little hard for me to compute because I'm watching sack after sack happen, but somehow they're still behind in the game. I would expect all of this defensive pressure to translate to them taking a lead, and thus far, it hasn't happened. Time's winding down. They don't want to waste this type of performance from these ace pass rushers. Here comes the Cardinals punter now, as he's on here to punt it away. Fair catch called for and made at the 16 or maybe the 17-yard line. It'll be a 39-yard punt, no return. And out will come the offense as they take over. They'll run with Walker to begin the drive. And he'll be corralled right around the 34. That play going for 16 yards to start the drive, first down. They went counter there offensively, and a couple of the defenders were on skates for a second. They certainly were, and you know what offensive linemen love about the counters and the misdirections? Sometimes you don't even have to block the defender. He can run himself out of the play if he doesn't read his keys properly. Back to Walker on first down. He'll get it across the 35. It'll be second down. Now we're going to get a stoppage here as we've got an injured Cardinal on the field. Well, now they're going to come out and take a look at this injury, and we'll be back in a moment. Second down and eight. On the counter, it's Walker. And he'll get this up to about the 38-yard line. Just a couple on the pickup there, and now it's third down. Here's Smith. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he is going to have a Seahawks first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Two first downs have him up near midfield now on first and ten. They'll give it up to the big man, Walker. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. From just across the midfield stripe, here's a second and eight. Back to throw, Smith. He's got his big tight end fan. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Cardinals 33. That one good for 16, and the drive will continue. 
So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. From the shotgun, this will be Dallas. And a hard working run here as he's got it inside the 20, down to the 17. 16 yards, a little deja vu from the previous play where they got 16. This has been a good drive so far. It's been the running game for the most part. It's powered them down there. Another nice burst there, picking up a first down. Now it's first and 10, as you said, in the red zone. Now a run with Walker. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Not a big run, not an explosive run, but they've held the ball for plenty of plays on this drive. They're just trying to impose their will on the defense right now. Second and nine. Now it's Smith. Smith and Jigba with the ground. And he'll be out of bounds, taking it just shy of the 10 at the 11 of the 12. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. Smith. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. But that was certainly an aggressive call and an aggressive play. Instead of just going for the first down, took the shot in the end zone, went for the touchdown. And on third down, maybe said, forget about the sticks. We want six. Myers' kick is good. And that'll get the lead down to five. He's got nine points on field goals now. He's made three of them. That gets him a bit closer, but there's no question they need to start turning some of these threes into sixes. And for him, it's not his concern, right? He just goes out there when they call on him and goes ahead and puts points up on the board. But the offense has got to get together and figure out what's stalling their drives so they have to keep calling on him. Myers now converted on the field goal try. Now he's on to kick it away. And this taken in at the goal line. And taken down just past the 20 at about the 21-yard line. The Cardinal offense here ready to take over. And they've got the lead here getting late into the third quarter. And the passing game for them, it's been terrific. We've seen that. But the rushing game, almost non-existent. And with the lead and trying to finish this game off, they need the running game to come back to life. They need to get sparked that way, take some time off the clock, and keep the ball away from their opponents. Rondell Moore, the intended target, and it's second down. Throwing here, Dobbs. And he finds his tight end, it's Ertz. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. It's a gain of 11 and a Cardinal first down. They give to Ingram up the middle. Found a little room there as he's up to about the 37. Making the stop that time, Bobby Wagner. Well, so far, this game has gone the way the defensive coordinator had hoped. They've dictated things. They've not let them run the ball very well at all. They gave up a nice game there. I doubt it'll back off their confidence. They've played so well throughout this entire game. Dobbs now on second down. And this is Ertz with it, right side. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Fifth catch of the afternoon, and that gives him a first down. Three quarters have come and gone. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Back now in Seattle, Washington. We couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day, one score game. First and 10 here. Ingram at tailback. He's got it running left. 
Jordan Brooks on the tackle. They work now on second and nine. Here's Dobbs to throw. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. The coverage keyed in on him since that last completion his way. He earned a little more attention on that route, and that made it a lot tougher to get a clean throw his way. They'll need to get this to the 38. That's where the first down marker is here on third. Off the play fake. Here's Dobbs. And that's incomplete. Here comes the Cardinals punter now as he's on to kick it away. And the punt over the side in the air and the spot will be inside the 35. And out now come the Seahawks. Their defense accomplished step one of the mission. They forced the punt. Now they'll look to erase that deficit and take a fourth quarter lead. Now Smith and the Seahawks going to come up first and 10 at about the 32. Oh, what a heck of an effort there as he'll make the diving catch. Successful start to the drive, 17 yards, and moves the sticks. I got the sense that the defense created a little momentum for him there, didn't it? Did their job, forced the punt. Now, nice start to the drive. Offense has to do their part. Yeah, they certainly do, but what a great start for them. They've got to go thank the guys on D. So one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. They'll fake the handoff. Now Smith. This is the tight end fan. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. And yeah, that's good for a gain of six, and it'll be second down. Now Gino. And that play will go nowhere. Losing yardage back near midfield at the 49. They'll wind up losing three here on the play. Third and seven now. Gino down a throw. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Cardinals 30. That good for 19 yards as they pick up the conversion on third. They're just going to run a drive route here with their tight end. Let him get upfield about 10 yards and then move toward the middle of the field. This ball's right on target and it results in a first down. So first and 10 now from the 30. Up the middle they run, it's Walker. A short gain here, maybe a yard to the 29. Here's a second and nine now from the 29. Now Smith. That's caught over the middle by Fan. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Cardinals' 15-yard line. A good gain of 14 there, and it moves the chains. Well, normally, you see three tight ends in a formation. You have to think to yourself, this has got to be a run. And I know as a safety, when I saw that, I took an extra step or two towards the line of scrimmage. Instead, they threw the ball, and he found one of those tight ends for a very nice pickup. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. The one with a dime look on defense. Two extra defensive backs on the field have covered up essentially every blade of grass. That allowed them to disrupt the play. Smith, an incomplete pass on first down. Now it's second and ten. Out of the gun, Walker with it. And he's going to get it inside the ten to the seven-yard line. 
97 yards rushing for him now to this point. The defense has gotten to feel a long time now, and after a run like that, they've got to feel like they're almost on roller skates and getting pushed backwards on just about every snap. Play number nine set to come here on the drive on third and two. Throwing now is Geno. connection there finding his target and that'll put six up on the board just like they drew it up in their playbook and reiterated it on the sidelines right perfect route a good throw in the defense they had no answer for that right there all right now the Seahawks face a big two-point conversion attempt Gino's gonna throw and this one's caught and their fourth quarter lead grows by a couple more so that effort gives him a three-point cushion and guarantees that a field goal going forward will beat them. Yeah, that's really good strategy because that's all you care about. Not getting beat at this stage, at least give your team a fighting chance. Touchdown, here's Myers to boot it away. Moore now on the return. And he won't get this to the 20-yard line as he's down at the 19. Here's the Arizona offense now as they get set to take over. And now they'll look to answer working from behind. And remember, this offense has sputtered yet to score here in the second half. They'll need to change that here. Draymond Jones picks up his second sack of the afternoon. I don't know what else can be said about this pass rush. They have been sensational. CD, that is now six sacks for them. And how many times do we talk to offensive coordinators and they say a sack is a result of everyone on offense not doing their job? But let's be honest about this one. This is the offensive line unable to counter the pass rush. They've been teeing off all game long. That huge loss on the sack makes this job much more difficult. It's now second down and 22 yards to go. And he'll take this one up to about the 13. Give him five yards on the run there, but it'll leave him with a definite third and long on the horizon. and he needed plenty more. That'll bring up fourth down. They wind up getting eight yards, but they needed more than that. And that doesn't have to gain big yardage to be an impactful play because if you can get those pass rushers second-guessing themselves that they might get hit with a screen, maybe you can wind up slowing them down just a step. And if you do that, that's a win for that play. And take it right on the 30. It'll be a 44-yard punt. The return goes for eight. And it will be first and ten as they take over. Here come the Seahawks now, set to take over on offense. Their defense got the stop, forced the punt, and now you really start to monitor the clock as they nurse this slim lead. Here's Walker to start the drive to about the 40-yard line. I like a guy who understands the situation. I also like a guy who you look at him and you say, that looks like a guy who knows the coach is going to say, guess what? You drop this one, you'll be carrying around the training facility for an entire week. <laughs> Maybe flashback to high school or college, carrying <laughs> it around campus, right? The old gauntlet drill, right? Anyone get the ball out while he's, while he's sitting in class and bring it back to the coach? He's in big trouble. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. After watching him drop that slant, I can hear my old coach's voice ringing in my ears right now. You can't run with the ball until you catch it trying to get those rack yards before he secured it. 
So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. A shotgun snap for Smith. He's got his target. That's complete. And he is going to have a Seahawks first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And that certainly appears to be a critical conversion right there because not only do they keep the drive going, they take valuable time off the clock as well. They have to feel really good about that last completion. A gear for Walker running right. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Two yards the loss, second and 12. No success there running against this 3-4 defense. And you have to have special guys who are playing your defensive line, talking about your nose tackle and your two defensive ends because they've got to hold the point of attack. And oftentimes it's five blockers on three. Those base guys, can they hold that line of scrimmage and allow the linebackers to get involved? They did more than hold it there. They sent him backwards. And he'll get it across midfield and down into Cardinal territory. It's a gain of maybe three, but it's going to leave him with still about eight or nine to go on third down. Smith. Incomplete. How about this defense? They came up with a couple of big plays in this sequence, and none better than the one right there, forcing the incompletion and bringing up fourth down. Now here's Michael Dixon as he'll kick it away for the second time. Special teams here. This is going to be down inside the five, all the way down at the two-yard line. They'll run with Ingram here to begin the drive. And he'll get this only up to about the three-yard line. Just a yard of the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Well, not a game that you're going to go crazy about, but when you start at your own two-yard line, any type of space is good for the offensive guys. Yeah, you just can't go backwards from here. They did it. Now we'll see if they can keep it on schedule here on second down. Yeah, and able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. Check time on both sides. Now Dobbs. And this is going to be incomplete. That close on third down, I think everybody probably expecting a run. Instead, they go to the air on third and short yardage. I realize this is a passing league, and they're liable to throw the ball at any down and distance. But that short, I do question the call. Run the football and pick it up. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. He'll take it at the 42. And a seven-yard return following a punt of 45 yards. And they will take over first and 10. And Seattle now ready to march out of the field. No points last time out. They were forced to punt, if you remember, but no time to dwell on that. They've still got the lead here and a chance to add to that here. First and 10 as this new drive starts. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Jackson Smith and Jigba, the one he was after there. That'll bring up second down. To throw with Smith. This a very important drive, and that incompletion leads to a very important third down here if they're going to try and get the football back. Yeah, getting it back, absolutely crucial to their chances to try and win this game. I would expect a lot of pressure here. They can't afford to let them continue to get first downs and eat away at the clock. Another incompletion would certainly be ideal defensively. A big play now. This is third and ten. Now Smith. I had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. 
seemed to be pretty quick with his fingers to start and stop after the ball hit the ground. I'm giving him some credit. Well, I'm thinking about the mental focus, you know? Yeah. The mental focus. Yeah, the that's true. got to stay with it. That's true. Now here's Michael Dixon as he's on to punt for Seattle. Returning it is Moore. They'll score that a 36-yard punt, and the Cards will take over first and 10. Arizona getting ready to go as they take the field. These guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalpost, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. They'll try again here, second and 10. Dobbs is throwing. And Wilson with it, complete. And they're gonna get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. But one of the ways that quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. All three timeouts plus the two-minute warning. Here's first and ten. Three points separating these two sides with two minutes left to go in the fourth. So the Cardinals, they've got the football here as we get you reset. They come up on a first and ten, desperately needing a score here on what could be their final drive. Able to find Ertz. Not a position where they absolutely have to rush right now, but they definitely have to pick up the tempo a bit. Now second and four. Dobbs. His throw incomplete. Passing lanes, tough to come by with so many defensive bats on the field here late in the game. And it's not just the number of bodies, it's their quickness and their agility that makes it tough to complete a pass. No tougher place to be in a spot like this than Seattle. Here's third down. Now Dobbs. And that will be incomplete as well. Partner, they've got one chance left to keep this one going. And I think for you and me, let's think along with their offensive coordinator now. Has to think back, cycle through every play of this contest and remember what's worked and what hasn't. Because right here, he needs the best play of the game in order to keep this one alive. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. And it's going to be batted down. It will go the other way with the football. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And the Seahawks, they'll get the football back in outstanding field position. No surprise. They try to throw the ball fourth down, but it gets batted down. They don't pick it up. Well, a little football 101. When you're going toward that quarterback, you see he's going to start to throw. Get your hands up, get right? Get your hands up, affect the play, and then everyone, get your hands up. When the ball gets to the receiver, moment of truth, knock it away. And it worked this forward for about three. It's second down. The Cardinals going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. Now the Cards going to call another timeout, their second, as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Let's do this, man. And the line to gain here is the 37 on third down. Now Smith. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. The Cardinals forced to burn their third and final timeout 
as it comes with a minute 15 left to go in the second half. Now here's Michael Dixon as the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. Wow, a personal foul at this stage in the fourth. Hard to believe. Really hard to believe. And now that glow of hope that you had begins to flicker out, doesn't it? Yep. The Seahawks in victory formation as they go ahead and take the knee. Down to a knee, here goes Smith, and that should all but do it. Partner, they took a knee to finish this one off. To me, that's the only thing they lost in the fourth quarter. How about that comeback? Yeah, trailed coming into the last frame. Got it done, taking the knee. That second half, Charles, a little bit different from the first. Not only did we have the lead change after intermission, but they were able to pitch the shutout in the second half and get an impressive victory. And what's the old expression? That's not quite how I saw it playing out in my head. You know they didn't expect this at all. As you mentioned, went into the half with the lead. Losing the game is one thing. Getting shut out in the second half, that's a surprise. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. It's a win for the Seahawks here as we say so long from Seattle.